Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my another episode of my on raid series. Today we're going to be covering Jacket. Uh, we're going to cover what it's used for, how to get it installed, and its uses. Alright. So what Binhex Jacket is, or Jacket, the uh, the application or Docker that we're going to be using today is going to be Binhex Jacket. So uh, you'll be selecting that one from the uh, App Store shortly. So what it is, is it's basically a wallet for your indexers. All right, it's a quick way for you to quickly either search through or reference those indexers for your your future application you're going to be using it for is going to be radar, sonar, and lidar. So we're going to go ahead and get that installed on our Unraid server. So what you're first going to do is go ahead and log into your Unraid server, and uh, once you're logged in, you're going to go to the apps section or the apps tab. And once you're there, go ahead and look for the Benhex Jacket Repository or Docker. That's going to be the Benhex Repository. And let's go ahead and get that installed. All right. And the installation is pretty straightforward. There's really not a whole lot that needs to be changed uh, unless you have different requirements for something. But uh, for the most part, we're just going to go with the basic installation. All right. So we're using on host port number one, we're using port 9117. All right, and we'll just go ahead and hit apply. And so it's gonna go ahead and install. Now that we're using port 9117, uh, the, way you'll end, the way you'll navigate to it is just the IP address of the Unraid server with, uh, with the port 9117 specified and it should take you into the jacket UI. All right, so once, it, uh, so once this is done, we'll go ahead and come back and uh, continue on. Uh, with Jacket. All right, so it looks like Jacket has finished installing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on Done, and let's go ahead and visit the dashboard. Um, let's go to Dashboard. All right, and now you can see the newly installed Docker is now running. Um, the way you'll go ahead and access it is you can click on it, left click, and you go to Web UI. And it should bring up another window. Now it's going to say it's got a security risk. Your instance has external access enabled without using an admin password. Uh, so what that means is you can just navigate to the IP address with the port and it'll let you straight in. So if you need some type of uh, security on your jacket docker, you'll want to be sure to go ahead and install, I'm sorry, set a password or an admin password. All right, we're going to go ahead and set a password. All right, and then set password, and our password is now set, okay? So next time we come back to this, it's gonna ask us for a password. Uh, I believe the username is gonna be admin, password is just gonna be whatever password you selected. All right, so just a few things to kind of familiarize yourself with. It's gonna be the API key. You'll find this will be needed later when we start setting up uh, applications such as radar, sonar, and LiDAR. It's going, to, it's going to use the API key in order for it to sync with Jacket or be able to communicate with Jacket. All right. And then from here you have, this is the section where your indexers are going to be listed at. Uh, you'll go ahead and select Add Indexer to begin adding indexers to that list. All right. So we're going to go ahead and select, um, let's select Public. We're going to select English, U.S. or whichever location you're in. Feel free to change that. And then whichever category, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show all. I guess we can probably change this to like say movies. And then go ahead and just uh, select whichever indexers you feel comfortable with. Go ahead and select them. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them just so we can have a bigger list. And once these are all selected and added, you can always take these out. All right, we're going to go ahead and add selected. So we're, we're going to go ahead and give it a minute. It's uh, adding all of these selected indexers to our uh, directory. All right, so it looks like the indexers have been added to Jacket. All right, as you can see here now, the list is now populated with indexers or more common indexers here. And that's pretty much it. So a few other things to kind of go over. The jacket configuration, we have the admin password, that's been done. The 
uh, proxy uh, application or Docker that we're going to set up later will be set up through here. All right, we'll get that all set up, and uh, that, that, like I said, that'll be done in a future video. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. There's really not much else that goes into setting up and configuring Jacket. All right, guys, until next time, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or requests for future videos, please drop those down in the comments below. And uh, until next time.